into the cat, the character animation toolkit. And I have our little character open up over here, and we're going to play him out. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a layer, and this motion layer down here, and that's this right here. I've turned on the play button, and I've hit play, and you can see him walking. We're going to open up this uh, cat motion editor, and under that window, we see a couple things. We have available presets, so I have a, one preset in here right now, which is the standard walk. We can add layers over here simply by clicking on add layer. You notice his walk changed to a hop here because I have some of these settings set differently than I do in our first layer. Right down here we can name our layer and we can set a weight to the layer and adjust how much that layer is going to affect the walk. So we're going to turn that off right now. Actually, I'm going to delete it. And we're going to look at some of these other settings. Under Global, this tells us where he starts his animation and where he ends it. So if we add more keyframes, we're going to want to come over here and add the keyframes here. So if we add an extra two, uh, 100 keyframes here, we're going to want to change that to 200 here. This changes some of the parameters of how he walks. So you can see that, that actually increases the time it takes him to make a step so it makes him walk slower. We can increase the stride length which is how far the legs go apart when they actually make the step and how fast he walks under the velocity here. And we have some other things down here, direction and, and things like that that we're not going to mess with right now. Under the limb phases we have left leg, right leg, left arm, right arm and when we adjust those that tells this little object what phase to do each leg in so for instance our left leg and our right leg are opposite of each other if we change that and make them the same that's what creates our hop so they're both going at the same time they're in the same phase with each other same thing with our arms our arms are swinging right now but if we change those into the same phase they're still swinging, but they're together when they swing, rather than separate. Down here, under the groups here, pelvis, pelvis group. The pelvis group, we can change how the pelvis is moving back and forth by simply clicking on these. So our twist, we see our curve editor here. And when we adjust this curve editor, we can grab this node, and we can pull it up. And we can adjust the amount of curve using these arms. The other way we can adjust this curve is we can adjust the scale here. So if we want to pull our scale all the way down without affecting our curve, our curve's still there, it's just scaled down. So that's a good way of telling what exactly is happening without changing You can see the curve is still active, it's just scaled down. So all of these can be changed, the roll, the pitch, and they're all labeled. So for instance, this is the leg, so that would be our knee angle. So if we want to increase that, we can pull our curve up, or, and we can scale it back down again to create different walks. And as we're doing this, we can look down here. As long as we've got it playing out, it's going to make the changes in real time so we can see what's happening. So now we want to get this thing to actually move. And under our global settings, if we click on walk on line and play it out, that creates the movement walking back and forth. And again, it's in a loop, so it's going to start back to its original position and walk forward from there. But this isn't... In reality, we're going to want to to make it move on a path and so we're going to use this path node function so in order to make that happen we're going to come over to our helpers
And we're going to add a point. And click that point out here somewhere. So this is actually going to be our node. And we're going to click on Path Node. We're going to select that. And notice that our character now jumped to that. We're going to have to make some adjustments. So I'm going to set up my angle snap and we're going to adjust him so that he's facing the right way. And now when we play him out, he's on that node. So I'm going to move the node and you can see that he follows that node. All right, now we're going to get this guy to walk on a line that we draw. So we'll click on line. And just draw that. We'll go up to modifier, select our points. And on this line, once you've selected the line, hit control A. Right click smooth so we've got a smooth line there now what we want to do is we want to go down and select the actual point that we drew earlier click on animation constraints and we want to go to path constraint at this point it's constrained to the path and if we play it out we can see that he's following the line although he's not facing the direction we need him to face so we're going to fix that here in just a second so in order to fix that we need to click on the actual point that we created earlier and we need to go to the path parameters and we need to click on follow So now we need to rotate that point we'll pull that out and see how that looks now he's following the point and he's facing the right direction one last thing we want to do we want to correct a few of these little goof ups we can come down here to lim uh, limb phases and reset the limb phases and that will straighten out any kind of leg crossing that you have on that path while we're looking at this we're going to look at um, the option of him actually not walking flat and level so we're going to add a plane Make sure we draw the plane big enough to cover his footsteps. We'll add a bunch of segments in here. And we're going to convert that to an editable poly. Oops. select these and we're going to pull a couple of these up using our soft selection turn soft selection on increase our fall off pull some of them down Now you can see we have this uh, kind of a terrain going on here. Um, and if we play this out now, you can see that he actually walks through the terrain. So in order to fix this, turn this off, we'll pick the ground, 
choose the ground and now you can see the footsteps are above the plane here or sitting right on the plane. If we play this out you can see he walks up the hills and down the hills following that terrain.